Hello everyone, I was part of the second YouTube Artists Collective piece and the theme this month was a beautiful nightmare and I was kind of stuck on the idea for a while because I wasn't sure whether to go with the sort of visual nightmare of like for, for the drawing um, and instead I sort of thought about what people fear so I put on uh, Instagram, I put a post asking people to tell me what they fear and they did, they told me and I got hundreds and hundreds of comments but the most common ones were things like spiders, snakes, syringes, knives, um, failure was a really big one but I couldn't really, I'd, I'd, I, I couldn't really draw failure, <laughs> not that it represented everyone's failure anyway, it's quite a dark topic, but yeah, so I went with the most visual ones and decided to do a girl covered in tattoos representing what people fear and hence, so she's the beautiful and those are people's nightmares and the brush you saw me using just then is actually a makeup brush and I was on eBay and I just wanted a few brushes and um, I came across this pack of like three or four brushes and they um, they ended up sending me like 30 brushes in the end they were so cheap they were like three pounds and I couldn't believe like how many brushes so I thought you know what I could probably just use these in my artwork so I took most of them and put them in my brush box so, so about half of them are in my makeup box and I probably never use half of them anyway so um, and it was really good it, it was it was completely different to any sort of brush that I would have bought from an art shop anyway and it it was really good at laying down lots and lots of flat color very quickly so the inks that I'm using are um, around the outside that's dye mine quartz black and then there is, for her hair, that's my Chinese calligraphy ink. Um, you can just see me using it here with a brush. I used a rounded four for most of the details. Which are just, I use De La Rowney graduate ones. They're just really cheap brushes, nothing special, just synthetic hair. And I think I prefer synthetic hairs because I know that there's no animal product involved. So then here I am sketching the tattoos on her and you can see I keep typing in to look for references. I think references are really important for people to sort of not ignore. I know that there's a big stigma in the art world that you have to do everything without reference and memorise everything and it's just not possible. And when you get to a professional level and you speak to other artists, referencing is completely common so if you're starting out and you're using reference you're already doing the right thing um, so don't ever let anyone put you down for using a reference it's completely different to things like tracing over an image or a photograph um, and it's just referencing is natural referencing is what you have to do as an artist so here I am doing the tattoos and I chose to do uh, my tattoos with the Copic Gas and Fooder brush pen and I'll put a link to there's a little card in the corner there you can click and that has my comparison with the Pentel brush pen. It's a very nice brush pen and I chose to use this one because it's waterproof ink. Just in case I needed to go back in with any of my inks or use water for any reason I wanted to make sure that that wasn't going to move. And I held my brush very very lightly very delicately and just made very quick sort of marks without judging too harshly where they were going to go if that makes sense without thinking too much I think is the right word so there's my little spider and I decided to give him a friend because <laughs> I wanted to have a knife in there but it looked like the spider was holding the knife and I thought that was a little bit too silly so I ended up giving him a friend <laughs> As usual with the YouTube Artists Collective, this piece is now for sale on my online store and there will be prints later in the year. I will be making prints for London Comic Con um, and then they will be available on my online store from June, 
yeah, June, I think. So she's got cobwebs on her neck. And here's the other spider. So cute. I did have to look up um, reference, obviously, for spiders. Which uh, wasn't too fun. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, though. So here I'm just doing a few more details. And... I go in here with my Winsor Newton gold drawing ink and you know how much I love this stuff and I slowed most of this down because gold ink, <laughs> why not? It looks like it's in slow motion though because the rest of the video has gone that fast that when I'm actually going in real time <laughs> it looks dead slow. <laughs> So I chose to do the gold ink on her eyelid and her lower lip just for a sort of, just to sort of round it and finish it off and, you know, gold ink. <laughs> and I think that's almost everything. I did end up signing it in black ink at the end, but you don't see that here. And uh, it measures about 9 by 12 inches, so it, it was a lot of fun to do, and I quite like working on these bigger pieces now. Um, so if you're interested in getting the original, go and check it out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>